Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in the base I've got a Kamazan B420 sedge hook in size 14. Uh, and for the thread I'm just using a, a, it's a sheer 14-0 uh, in black. Just run down a quick layer of thread. That way. Uh, now you can use a, a natural a strip peacock feather for the for the quill, uh, but I'm going to try uh, one of these synthetic quills out there from uh, these ones are from Flybox. It's just a synthetic quill. It's basically a it's basically a glorified sticker, uh, and I, I've been using these when I've been looking for kind of brighter colours. Because trying to get the the stripped quill. Uh, I find it difficult to get the, the decent feathers to to get the, the kind of coloured uh, quills. Natural's fine, but the, the coloured ones they don't they don't seem to be as good these days. But anyway, I've got a wee a wee point. Hope you can see that just into the into the quill, and you want to turn you want to basically face the sticky end away from the fly, and we'll just catch that in. It's a kind of rubbery, for anybody who's never used them, they're a kind of rubbery sticker. They're quite, quite easy to use. And then we basically just wind it on, just flatten that down. We basically just wind it on like we would do for our natural quill. And then the turn's just about touching, if there's wee gaps it doesn't matter. Tie that off. One thing you do need to be careful, you don't want to stretch this stuff too much. Uh, you kind of go easy on it, sometimes you stretch it and it, it kind of starts to break the, the material down a wee bit and then when you go to varnish it sometimes it can it can start to, uh, the, the colour can start to, to fade in it a wee bit. So anyway, we'll, just, we'll, we'll tie that off, we'll finish it. Trim that away. This is when I give it a, a wee coat of varnish just to protect the, the body. Doesn't need to be a lot, just a wee just a wee coat. And it's better to put this on with a brush when you're using this stuff I've, I've found. Uh, when you put it on with a like a dubbing needle and you run the you run the needle along it can sometimes take the 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 colour off it a wee bit. I think it's the, the varnish must break it down a wee bit and it just starts to starts to take the colour off. So I've got one here I've uh, made earlier. This is uh, varnished and, and dried. I should have said the, the colour is uh, picric, it's a, basically a yellow. Uh, now I'm going to switch threads. I'm going to use a, a shear again, 14-0. This is in Primrose. You could use uh, like a light K hill or something like that from uh, from Uni. You can put this in. Uh, you can tie this with legs. Uh, I'm not going to bother tonight, but uh, you, you can you can do. Uh, there's also different options. I mean, you can. I'm going to put the deer hair in first. Some people like to put the CDC in first. It's just, just down to personal preferences. You can chop and change and see what works for you. You want to take a wee pinch of uh, this is just a raw, raw deer. It's a nice, it's a nice patch. Just take a wee pinch, not too much. You don't want this to be a big, big uh, bulky fly. Stacker.
I mean, wise, you want it just shy of the, of the, the bend of the hook. I don't take any longer than that. Let's trim this away. This takes a wee bit of practice. Yeah. Not so much working with the deer here, but getting the getting the lengths right when you're cutting the lengths. You're you're basically cutting it before you tie it in. That's about right. I like to give it just a just hold it, give it a wee bend like that. I just press it down and that just, just keeps it, see how it just flattens a wee bit. You're almost gonna break in the, the stem a wee bit. There goes the trick. Uh, next we're going to come in with our CDC. In fact, to tell live or not, I'm going to come in with some dubbing. Uh, I'm going to use one of my own. Uh, this is one of the boxes I sell. Uh, you could use a boosted rabbit. I'm going to use just the, the plain rabbit. Uh, don't want, don't want the, the light to be too blingy. So get a wee bit of wax in the thread. This stuff goes on really nice. It's probably too much. Take off. Don't want you. Don't want this fly to be big. Bulky fly. Draw that back. Any really long feathers you can just pick out. See feathers, it's gal tails. Okay, next we've got our CDC. This is uh, Cooksill, just an actual CDC. And I've got, I've only got three feathers here, but they're quite, quite big feathers. See that? And you want the curve, there's like a natural curve in the feathers. You want that going the same way as the hook, basically. So, same way as the hook curves. Lengthwise, you just want it the same length as the as the deer here, just up to the the bend in the hook. It goes slightly past it, but slightly past. Catch it in a couple of loose turns. See how that's sitting. That's right. Draw that away. Tidy the head up. Uh, and now I'm going to use some of this. Uh, it's just a flash bright, some lure flash. Didn't come in this box, I put it in this box myself. But some nice colours, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, it's a sort of gold, a wee bit of the green through it. It's a nice colour. You, you can use you can use any colour you want really. But uh, it doesn't take uh, doesn't take much of it. It's just creating a wee bit of just a wee bit of sparkle. Draw a bit of back. And then we we'll finish. Make sure you draw everything back, keep it keep it keep the eye clear. That's pretty much us. You you could you could make it slightly slightly heavier, dress dress it a wee bit heavier if you wanted, but I use this when I'm kinda of casting to you know, rising fish. You know, if I want to target a fish, 
this isn't the kind of fly I would I would cast out and, and just you know leave. Uh, I would tend to, to use this to, to actually cast it to rise and fish. If I was going to cast it out and leave it, I'd probably have four CDC feathers and probably a wee bit more deer hair in there. It'd just make it a wee bit more more buoyant. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, join me next time. Cheers. <laughs>